This episode is made possible by the generous support of my patrons at patreon.com slash Kev and by viewers like you. Thanks! Well, it's the deal with birthdays. I mean, the Earth goes around the sun and we're like, hey, we're older. What's going on? Welcome to my show. Why do we care about getting older? What does it matter? You know, it's just a number, right? I mean, except like drinking, don't drink ever. But if you do drink, make sure you're 21. That one matters. And a few others that I'm not gonna talk about on this show. Going into an R-rated movie, yeah. Don't do that unless you're old enough or you're with an adult. I don't know what the rules are on that, to be honest. Why do we care? Well, I've got five reasons why we care in this video that I am about to show you called Five Reasons We Care About Getting Older or something along those lines. I'm sure by the time I do the titles for this video, I will have changed it and then it will confuse you a little bit when I say one thing and the words on the screen are different and it'll be even more confusing if the uh, title on the uploaded video is completely different. What are you gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> Number one. You know, I think we spend a lot of the beginning of our lives thinking about all the things that we're going to get to do whenever we're older. In fact, people tell us, hey, oh uh, no, you can't do that. You're not old enough. Wait till you're older. When you're older, you're gonna be able to do all sorts of crazy things. Hey, you gotta start listening to me because I'm older than you and I'm in charge. Don't know why I became a preacher just then. And then when you're older, you realize that you spent so much time thinking about what you were going to get to do that you didn't do all the things that you could do back then but can't do now. So embrace those things that you can do now because you don't want to wish your life away. Number two, being younger is cooler. And you might not think that because you feel like, oh man, whenever I hang out with my older friends, they're probably thinking, oh man, that little kid over there, can't believe he came along on this. And you think that those people think that you're a total dork and a complete loser? They do. But don't worry because whenever you get older, it doesn't change. If I find myself, and this is not very often, hanging out with a group of 19, 20 year olds, I feel that same way. Basically, what I'm saying is, well, things never get better. And that's okay, because it's nice to realize that even though you think that you have to hide behind your insecurity and pretend that you know everything because you think everybody else has it all figured out, they don't. Everybody's just making it up as they go along. Which brings me to thought number three. We don't feel as old as we are. You know, when I was a kid, I remember thinking like, oh man, whenever I get older, then I'm gonna feel like a grown up. I'm older now. I mean, I guess the only good thing about being a grown up is that like, I don't have to do homework anymore. And then also I can go to the store if I need to and like just buy a cake. I can buy a whole cake if I want. Just eat it, eat the whole cake. But then I don't have the metabolism that I used to have that'll just like burn that off. Man, I wish I could have just gone to the store and bought whatever I wanted when I was a kid, burn it off with squirt gun fights or whatever I used to do when I was a dumb kid. Which brings me to my next point. Not really, uh, but anyway, number four, I guess. Yeah, uh, the reason why we hate getting older or whatever is that I remember every single person that I looked up to whenever I was a kid, whether it's an artist or a band or a singer, songwriter perhaps, maybe an athlete, right? Was probably hitting their stride in their 20s. So now as I leave my 20s, I'm realizing that I may not ever hit that rock star status that I always assumed I would reach. It's too late and I probably will never get there. Or will I? I still have another year left. What am I doing? Where's my guitar? Just kidding, not gonna grab my guitar. I'm not gonna be a rock star, I'm gonna be a YouTuber. However, I do find a little bit of comfort to know that I'm still not quite old enough to run for president. Maybe there's new goals in my future? Let's get working on that, guys. Patreon.com slash SaganiKev. And number five, and this may be the most obvious one, but an important one. You're closer to death. I know it's a very sobering thought, but you know, sometimes it's important to think about because this life is precious and well, you only live once. Dude, YOLO! That's why I drink, that's why I smoke, that's why I party every single day! No, I, I don't think that's the way you need to think about it. What I'm trying to say is that life is important and you should live your life for other people. Dude! 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 Dude!
No, seriously, thanks so much for watching this episode and, and all that you guys do. I can't thank you enough. And it really is my birthday this week, and that's the day that I get the most Facebook comments ever of all time. So it's always fun to reply to all of those. Speaking of birthdays, this past month was also the birthday of Brendan Neely, one of the guys who sponsors my Patreon page that keeps this show going. I made him a special song for his birthday because that's one of the gifts that you get if you give $50 a month. Some of the other people who are generous to give that much is LegacyAndWealth.com. Go check them out too, and Matthew Bird. If you want to find out more about my Patreon, go to Patreon.com slash SayGoodnightKev. I'm sure it's over here somewhere like that. And starting Monday, I'm going to release an exclusive video every single Monday, just a little behind the scenes thing. I'm going to record it on my drive to work. I'm going to tell everybody what's going on with my different projects. But that is only for those who give to the Patreon, and I'll be releasing it on there. So check that out if you want to check it out. And if you don't, don't let me tell you what to do. Hope you guys have a great weekend. Good night. Well, guys, I turned 29 this week, so I figured I'd better start parting my hair. I wasn't sure where my part even was because I've never actually parted my hair. Kind of had to force a part here. I think it looks pretty good. Oh, that's better. Just took a shower, my yearly shower. It's my birthday week, so that's what I do on my birthday. Okay, but seriously, I know, big surprise. Sorry, ladies, I know you thought I was way younger, uh, but I'm not. I'm an old, old man.